she sold this vintage JVC three band radio cassette recorder. And she picked this up at a thrift store for $6 and 99 cents and sold it for. Hey, Bella buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am gonna talk to you about big money, unexpected BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These come from my featured BOLO Buddies members. That means they have joined memberships to be featured in this video. If that is something that interests you, you can check it out right here. There's a join button. Level two gets you in this video. Uh, no pressure to join. It's just something that you can do if you want to get your name out there for a YouTube channel or your eBay store. I do link those down in the description. So make sure that if you're watching that you go and check out all of these YouTubers and all of these uh, eBay stores down below in the description. All right, let's get started with the first one here. And Double T's Treasures is a YouTuber. She has an awesome channel. Definitely go and sub her up. Um, very educational and super fun. She is just a great personality that you want to be following. All right, here we go. She sold this vintage JVC three band radio cassette recorder. And she picked this up at a thrift store for $6.99 and sold it for a best offer of $160 plus shipping. Would you guys have picked this up or walked right past it? Let me know in the comments. All right, she also sold this vintage AC Delco advertising, advertising lighted radio gas oil USA. Another very cool item. She got this at a community center sale for $7 and took a best offer of $200 plus shipping. This one right here is a Disney Dooney and Bork, I think, or maybe it's Burke. I'm not sure how you say it, but it's Walt Disneyland or Disney World, Disneyland right there. How cute is that? Um, it's got the matching tote and the wristlet. She got this on Facebook marketplace for $80 and she flipped this for 200 on eBay. The next item comes from the thrifty Nichols, and she hasn't really put many videos out lately, but sub her up for when she comes back. Um, sometimes we all just need a little break. So, um, hopefully she'll be coming back soon with more reseller content. She sold this Aztec, um, it's a Southwestern bird tapestry. I think it's tapestry. Is it tapestry or tapestry? Tapestry. I think it's tapestry. I always want to say tapestry because it's of the way it's spelled. But a uh, very, very cool piece here. She got this at a thrift store for $4 and she took a best offer of $75 plus shipping on that. The next item are these shoes, which I just think are really interesting. Um, Never seen anything like it. Uh, they are Maje, M-A-J-E. Again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. They are a smaller size. They're a women's size six and a half. And I have noticed that smaller sizes are harder to sell. But she took a best offer of $55 on these. And she bought them at Style Encore. Not sure what that is. For $6. The next item was her son's. It is a Hyperlight Wake Kids Collective Neon Yellow Youth Life Vest. And she sold this for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. So dig those items out of your house and get them listed. Toledo Antique, another awesome channel. They do live shows over on their channel, but they also have a bunch of videos on how to ship big um, lots of China. And it looks like they've been doing a lot of shorts. So I don't see it. You're going to have to scroll down quite a bit to find those. But if you want to know how to list um, glassware, oh my goodness, they are fantastic at it. They run estate sales and they have a shop and they just are super knowledgeable. So definitely sub up their YouTube channel. What they sold, they sold this Suzuki Omnicord uh, Christian Songbook Enduring faith. Uh, it's some sort of instrument. It looks like it looks incredible. They got this at an estate sale for $50 and took a best offer of 400 plus shipping on that. This Lennox glassware plates again, um, 
not fun to ship in my opinion, but they bought it for 125 and sold it for a best offer of 450 plus shipping. So definitely probably worth the time they're going to spend shipping it. So nice turnaround on their money. This is a Griswold uh, number nine cast iron skillet, and these will be marked on the bottom. So they are easy to look up and uh, research and pick a title for it. easy to do sell similar. Just make sure you get all your numbers correct so that it is advertised correctly. This was a consignment deal. They do a 50 50 split. I do believe if I remember correctly, this sold for $121.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Restored Glory, and she does a lot of glassware, a lot of really unique items that I pass by. So the things that you're seeing on my channel, you're probably not going to see on her channel. So definitely check her out for educational, um, lots of education on glass and breakables. Again, you're not going to get that from my channel. So sub her up for that content. And what did she sell? She sold this mid-century modern rug. It's a shag rug. It is incredible. Uh, she got this at an antique store. She did pay up for it. She paid $95 for it, but it sold for $400 on Etsy. She is restored glory over on Etsy. Again, you can follow her by clicking the heart. This is also really awesome. I'm surprised this didn't sell for more, honestly. It's a ceramic lady, art deco, wave head hair sculpture. Uh, she got this for $7.99 at a thrift store and sold it for $68 plus shipping on Etsy. The next item is this awesome clock. Watch me wall clock. And again, I, I would have thought this would have sold for more. I think it's incredible. It's a quartz battery powered uh, rainbow colors clock. She got this for $7.99 at a thrift store and sold it for $45 plus shipping. And the next item comes from Be Carried Away, another awesome YouTube channel. She is really, really good with keywords, great titles, good descriptions, and she specializes in vintage clothing. So you know all of those clothing items that you're like, what kind of dress is this? What's a good keyword for this? Follow her channel. Check out her What Sold videos. She is going to tell you those keywords. She sold this uh, vintage pink roses painting, um, wood carved, ornate, cottage chic. Got this at a Salvation Army for $4.99 and sold it for $98.27. She has this Poshmark sale here. These are Ariat fringe boots. She is also be carried away on Poshmark. You can follow her over there. And she got these at a Salvation Army for $25. She did pay up for these, but she knew she could make big money on them and sold them for $140 on Poshmark. The next item, I just love this. Um, it's very unexpected. I don't know if I would have picked this up or not. It is Church Christians Banners God Cares for You, 51 by 30. She said she picked up two of these at a garage sale for $10 each. This one sold for a best offer of $149 plus shipping. So it's a banner. Where Pigs Fly Farm. It is a nonprofit. So anything from their eBay store goes towards the farm. They adopt animals and it's like a kids can come and visit and pet them and they just take care of them and they do incredible things. So definitely check out her eBay store down below if you would like to support that cause. Um, she has this axe. It's a fireman's axe and it was broken and she got this out of the trash. And she sold it for auction on auction for $41 plus shipping. The next item came from uh, a resale shop and she paid $20 for it. She put it up for auction. It sold for $305 plus shipping. And it's incredible. It's a Carol Grigg watercolor gallery print set of two painted ponies, 1985 signed and framed. And I love how part of this one is on that one. That's pretty cool. And the next item she sold is this Pyrex, which was donated. She does get donations um, to help the cause. And then she puts the stuff on eBay. I think they also have like a little store on site. Um, because I know in the summer, again, people come to visit and it's like a, I don't want to say like a petting zoo, but you know, they can see the animals and pet them and check it out. So 
All right, the Pyrex, it sold for $150.50 plus shipping. The next item comes from Groundhog eBay store. Lots and lots of very cool items. Definitely go down and check out her eBay store link. Um, wide variety. You got some vintage hair things here. Love that. Let's see what she sold. She sold this Hawaiian girl, and I'm going to have to cover up her um, her front area. I hope I remember to do that. Um, if not, I apologize. It is a chalkware, naughty nude, Hawaiian, Polynesian girl, 1920s carnival hula. And she's chalkware, super cool item, um, a little naughty. She is right. She got this on high bid for 14, uh, a box of stuff for $14. It sold in five minutes for full asking price of $229.99 plus shipping. So she thinks she undersold it, but still a very nice profit. The next item are these, oh my goodness, I love them. Vintage lot of three Napco, Napco wear, Pixie Elf Girl, Elves Pixies. Multicolor, playful, super adorable. Here's the little uh, label that's on them. Made in Japan. I love made in Japan items. They are just fantastic, especially the Christmas items. She got these on high bid in a box, a $20 box lot. And she sold these alone for $59.99 plus shipping. She got these shorts in a high bid lot. Also, they're new old stock uh, Patagonian or Patagonia medium men's swim trunks. And she ended up selling this a best offer of $90 for those. All right, Flippin' Palettes, another awesome YouTube channel. Um, not doing a whole lot right now, but uh, she did get her account suspended after 22 years of selling on eBay. And she talks about it in this video right here. So, um, it was a certain items. She does flip pallets and it was something that could not go global shipping. So check that out for details, especially if you are a pallet buyer. What did she sell? She sold this Clarial Natural Instincts hair cream, hair color, and it is a discontinued um, hair color. She got it in a CVS palette for $2. She also got this one and it's L'Oreal Touch um, highlights also discontinued. She sold five of these for 48 each. So again, one thing about palettes is you get a lot of multi quantity items. You make one listing and you just sell it over and over and over again. So that is one thing great about palettes. This is an ERTL Ertl, um, excavator prestige collection die cast came in an Amazon palette. She paid $10 for it, sold it for $55.50 plus shipping. This is a Pokemon Pikachu Statue of Liberty around the world. She got this at a Walmart clearance sale for three bucks, sold it for $40 plus shipping. Ohio Treasure Hunters is a new YouTube, or I'm sorry, a new eBay Oh my goodness, a new Bolo Buddies member, not a YouTube channel yet. I think he's thinking about it, but this is his eBay store. So definitely go and check out some of his fantastic items that he has listed. These will, um, this link will be down below as well. Stumbling over my words tonight. I apologize. This is a very cool purse. It's wicker and leather. And it's very cool. It's a basket purse. He got this at a yard sale for $3, took a best offer of $42 plus shipping. The next item are these headphones. They are Sony MDR V500 DJ headband headphones. And he got these at a yard sale for $0.25 cents and sold them for $49.99 plus shipping. The next item he sold is Pretty amazing. It's a vintage ceiling light lampshade cover, fixture, full coverage, floral art design. I bet that's really pretty lit up. Got it at a yard sale for four bucks and sold it for $99.99 plus shipping. Vichy's Treasures. This is her eBay store. You can check it out down below. And what did she sell? Now, she did pay up a little bit for these. These came out of a, an online auction. And she paid $25 a piece for these. They are Waterford Crystal. This one sold for $109.95. And this one sold for $98. So Waterford Crystal, this one's a ship. $25 each on those. 
And I did not get the information back. She did take a best offer on these. They're vintage NFL football card lot from the 1970s, over 300 cards pictured in sleeves. So don't know too much about this. Not sure what the best offer was, but um, she wanted me to showcase it. So I went ahead and did that. So I'm sorry I did not hear back in time. Butterfly Hustles, such a lovely, lovely person. She is so sweet and her channel is awesome. She takes you into the Goodwill sourcing with her, educational and entertaining. And again, just the sweetest person. Check her out. I will link her down below. And she sold these Mooklooks and I don't know how to say this, Manitoba, Manitoba Mooklooks. I've heard of Mooklooks, but not that. So that might be the style, but these are definitely a big money bolo. It says that they're men's size 10. She got these at the Goodwill for 12 bucks and took a best offer of 125. Now we have this vintage international world of white stag women's purple peacoat size 10. She got this at the Goodwill for $7.99 and she sold this for a best offer of $80 plus shipping. This blanket here is a vintage crocheted throw blanket trip around the world red and white handmade germany so great key words there she got this at the goodwill for five dollars and fifty cents and sold it for 47.25 let me know in the comments would you have walked past this blanket and the last item she sold is this leather jacket she did say that it was very long tail long tail which means it took a long time to sell it is a Wilson's Vintage Vera Pella Studio Women's Black Leather Jacket. She can't remember what she paid for it. Um, this is what the tag looks like, but she did end up taking a best offer of $100 on that. All right, you guys, what did you think about those bolos? Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here and leave me an emoji of a hat. Thanks for watching.